Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. I have a story for you, but before I give you today's story, I want to say thank you to someone. I want to say thank you to Gabriel from New York. Neighbor Gabriel contacted Uncle C, and he said he liked the message from Abraham last week, the message on obedience and he wants to apply that message to his life. So Gabriel, thank you so much for reaching out to Uncle C. Now, on to our story. Today's story is called Esther's Big Decision. You may simply know it as Queen Esther, and it's in the book of Esther, uh, mainly chapters one to eight. Now, oh, this is a big story. So. Uncle C is only going to give you parts. So if you want the whole story, read the book of Esther. The action text is taken from Esther 4.16. Then I will go to the king, even though it's against the law. And if I die, I die. The story starts with King Ahasuerus who was also known as King Xerxes. Ahasuerus is his Hebrew name, and Xerxes is his Persian name. And he ruled over 127 provinces or area, all the way from Ethiopia to India. And he was a powerful king. And he was looking for a new queen because the last queen got him upset. So he went to all these areas looking for a new queen. And he found Queen Esther. After a whole year, Esther was chosen. Now, Esther had a cousin in the palace. His name was Mordecai. But Mordecai told Esther, he said, Esther, you know we are Jews keep it quiet. We are not quite sure how we would be received. So do not let anyone know that we are related. Now, one day while Mordecai was in the palace, he overheard two persons plotting or planning against the king. And Mordecai told Esther, and as a result, the king's life was saved. And well, let's just say those two guys who were planning to take the king's life, bad things happened to them. Now, the king promoted a gentleman by the name of Haman. And Haman was very proud. Everyone bowed to him, but Mordecai refused to bow. Everyone would ask Mordecai, Mordecai, why aren't you bowing? But Mordecai did not care. And Haman got upset about that. He got so upset that he went to the king. He said to the king, under this guy, he said, King, you know what? They are a set of people. So guess what? It was just one person who got him upset, but he wanted the, the whole race to suffer because of that one person. He said to the king, they are a set of individuals. They have no respect for you. They have strange laws. And, and you know what? It is bad for the, for the country, for, the, for your ruler, for your ruling. Let's get rid of them. And the king said, okay, um, Haman, um, hmm, you think I should do that? And Haman said, you know what? I am even going to pay money to do that. And the king said, you know what? I am going to sign this. Go and do as you see fit. Now Mordecai read it and he was very sad. He was upset. He tore his clothes and Esther heard what was happening. So she sent a message to find out, Mordecai, what's going on? And she told, she was told what Haman was planning. So Mordecai said, you know what, Esther, you got to do something. And, Mor and Esther mm -hmm. said, well, well, I, I don't know if I can go. I, I, I am not supposed to see the king. And Mordecai said to her, you may not be safe. You might be affected too. You have to do something. You, who knows, the Lord probably placed you in there for such a time like this. 
<sighs> Esther said, okay, you know what? It's against the rule, but I am going to do it. And if I die, I die. So she went to the king and the king raised the scepter. So her life was saved. And the king said, what do you want, my queen? I will, I'm able to give it to you, even to half of the, the kingdom. And she said, you know, king, um, I want to just invite you and Haman to a dinner tomorrow. Can you come? And she said, he said, sure, let's do it. And of course, you know, Haman would have been very happy, you know, dinner with the king and the queen. And they went to the dinner. Now, he went to the dinner, and after the dinner, he saw Mordecai again. Everyone bowed, but Mordecai did not bow at all. As some people would say, he did not give him the time of day. Mordecai did not bow, and he was upset. And he said, you know what? I am going to get a plan, and I'm going to destroy this Mordecai tomorrow. I am not going to wait. Mordecai has to go. That same night, the king could not sleep. So to put him to sleep, he called, he said, okay, bring in the Chronicles. Let, let's read the Chronicles. Let's see what happened. And about some of the things that they read was Mordecai saving the king's life. So the king said, did we do anything for Mordecai? He said, no. He said, well, something has to be done. Then he, he said, wait, wait, who is out there? Because Haman came back to see the king because he wanted to tell the king that he needed to destroy Mordecai. So his servant said, it is Haman. He said, okay, bring Haman in. So he asked Haman, he said, Haman, let me ask you this question. If the king wants to honor someone, a person who he appreciates a lot, what should he do? Now Haman was happy because in his mind, he thought the king was talking about him. So this is what Haman said. He said, you know what? I think that person should be placed in robes that the king actually wore. And he should be placed on a horse that the king actually rode. And they should have someone going through the land saying, this is the man the king favors. And the king said, you think that's a good thing? He said, oh, yes, king, let's do that. And the king said, I'm glad you said that, Haman. You have good ideas. I want you to do that for Mordecai. Could you imagine how Haman felt when he heard that? So Haman now had to go through the streets saying the same thing because the king said, everything you said, do not let anything out. And of course, Haman was upset again. When he went home, the king, and the queen were expected him because, of course, there was a second banquet that the queen told him to come to. So he went to that banquet and it was there. The queen said what was on her mind. The king said, Esther, what's going on? And she said, there is this evil person. He's trying to destroy me and all of my people. And, and king, you are the only one who can save us. And the king was like, who wants to do that to my queen? Who is this person? And she said, it's that wicked Haman. And Haman was up, he wasn't shocked because he had no idea that Esther was also a Jew. And the king walked out upset. And Haman was like, please Esther, save my life. Could you please? The king came back and saw him begging the queen. And he was like, what are you doing with my queen? Take this Haman away. And they took him away. And let us just say what he was planning to do to Mordecai, the same thing happened to him. Now, how did the story end? Let me tell you how the story ended. Esther told the king that Mordecai was related. She brought him in and he was congratulated. The king then made him a very great man and he gained respect throughout the whole land. The king then wrote another letter of action to guarantee that the Jews had protection. In the end, they were able 
to rejoice, largely because of Esther's brave choice. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready for your questions? Question number one, what was the name of the king? A, Lazarus, B, Ahasuerus, C, Xerxes, or D, both Ahasuerus and Xerxes. And if you say D, both B and C, you are right. The king name was both Ahasuerus and Xerxes. Question number two, Haman wanted to do what to all the Jews? A, promote all the Jews. B, enslave all the Jews, and enslave means put into slavery. C, destroy all the Jews, or D, deport all the Jews. And deport means to send them back to their country. And what's the answer? If you say C, you are, again, correct. You wanted to destroy all the Jews. Question number three, if the king did not raise his scepter for Esther, what would happen? A, she could be killed. B, she could not see him for another year. C, she could not come, she could come back later that day. Or D, she would have to go back to her home. The answer is A, yes, it was very dangerous. She could be killed. And finally, question number four. This story reminds us that A, it is wrong to hate a person or a race of people. B, when we plan bad for individuals, the same thing can happen to us. C, God can protect us in all situations or is it D, all of the above? You are right. It is D, all of the above. Okay, boys and girls, let us pray. Let's close our eyes and let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, help us to always have a love in our heart for everyone and continue to protect us, we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I thank you once again for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And if you want to email Uncle C, my email address is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. And as always, please receive your parents' permission before writing. Well, boys and girls, I wish you a great week, and as always, remember, God loves you very much.